Radio Woodstock 100.1. We're live at Mountain Jam 9 and fresh off the stage is Animal Liberation Orchestra, better known as ALO. ALO is in the house. Woohoo! Yeah, good to be here. Oh. Hooray! Zach, Lebo, Dave, welcome. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for having us. It wouldn't have been Mountain Jam without ALO. Oh, that's wow, nice that's of you to sweet. Say. Wow. We're really psyched to be back here. And, you know, we just saw you a couple weeks ago, too. You played yeah. on our Utopia Soundstage back yeah. at the yeah. radio station in Woodstock. It yeah, it was fun. So uh, t tell us a little bit about the experience today playing for the crowd. We had sunshine, and that's apropos since you're a California I, I band. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at your muddy shoes, <laughs> and I realize that we only got a small portion of the Mountain Jam experience this year. Yeah. The sunny part. The sunny part. <laughs> yeah. Because it was pretty nice out there, you know? It yeah, Thursday beautiful. night, Friday, a little bit rainy, yeah. but uh, it luckily cleared up uh, for everything yesterday. That's what well, I heard. Yesterday was real nice, too. Yeah. I love a little excitement in my music festivals. I love it when the rain hits and everyone's got to kind of like huddle together and you meet new friends and they sort of like you brave through it like a like you're on a ship and it's a storm and then all of a sudden you come out the other end. And Are you guys on a full tour or is, was this kind of a one-off for you? It's quick. This was just a, like a four-day run. four-day tour. Basically, yeah. we were just out, you know, we came by your guys' studio, did a whole East Coast run. Uh, our ALO shows and then ALO Ryan Mont Blue Band shows. And then uh, we got Mountain Jam added. So we figured, oh, it'd be yeah. a shame to come out here for one show. So we decided to make a little three, four day run. So. Nice. so we hit some towns we've never played before and had a blast. Last night in Fairfield, Connecticut was so fun. Really cool. Can't believe we've never been there. One of the advantages of going on early is you can enjoy the rest of the day. That's right. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Who are you looking forward to seeing today? We got uh, I haven't seen Dispatch. Jackie in a while. That'll be Jackie good. Green. Dispatch. Yeah. I've never seen Jackie Green's a friend of ours, so it's always nice to see. Yeah, Jackie. Dispatch was uh, was just up here in the studio. A band that was formed in Vermont. Oh, oh interesting. And now they're based in the Boston area. They just put out a great live album, a beautiful version of Mother and Child Reunion on oh, there. Oh, I love nice. that song. Yeah. yeah. Today yeah. kind of feels like San Francisco Day because you got Phil and friends, you got Jackie Green, yep. us. Mm -hmm. It's like a good uh, San Francisco. Kid. It's too bad uh, Nikki Bloom wasn't here today. Yeah. Then it would have been all like all the San Francisco bands on one day. Now we saw we saw uh, Steve here. Yeah, Good he was here TV. a couple days ago. A couple days ago. Yeah. Uh, can I ask you what's going on with the personnel uh, of ALO? Uh, no, you know, no official changes or anything. It was sort of like we we thought originally uh, when the, we were going to play Mountain Jam that Steve would just play with us because Nikki was also going to be there. And then suddenly they were like, oh, it's going to be a whole tour. And how are we going to work this out? And then we were about to take a break. And then Steve's like, ah, if I give up this whole tour. And so it just became a bit of a thing. So we were like, yeah, we can. Yeah, we, we've been we've been uh, had been hanging out with Ryan, uh, with uh, Ron Johnson. And yeah, tell us a, a little bit about uh, Ron. He's a phenomenal bass player. Oh, yeah. I've known him for no, years, yeah. many, many years. I think we first met him back when he was playing with Carl. And then uh, he was playing with New Monsoon for a little while, which those are, are good friends of ours from San Francisco. And then, of course, he's, uh, he's no stranger to Mount Jam. He's telling us how he's been here the last nine years or something in a row. Because <laughs> well, he's playing with Warren Haynes' band the last few oh, years. Oh, okay, okay. Um, and Brett Denon, who's another guy that we both played in the band to, uh, with, too. So uh, it's fun. We've definitely played with him over the years in various things. But uh, what's so cool, actually, about this run that we just did was this the first time... Uh, I was realizing I've been playing with him for probably seven or eight years, but it's always been one-offs. This was the first time to actually play multiple nights in a row. Mm -hmm. and it was, it's, it's so fun um, when you get a group of musicians together. It's one thing, you know, you get good players together, you can do one-off and cool things happen, but when you can actually do like a run of shows, it's, I, for me, that's where a lot gel, more magic you know? happens. Yeah, because you start like really settling into it and, and uh, people's personalities start coming out more rather than just trying to get sure. things right. So He, he certainly brought the funk yeah oh, exactly totally. so yeah. it's kind of a fun you know yeah, yeah. we've uh, been having a blast yeah you know it's i mean with alo there's uh, we all do so many side projects so it's always a bit of a scheduling fiasco and usually it just kind of works out but suddenly we found ourselves like yeah oh, well we're actually booked steve's booked twice so how are we gonna <laughs> yeah. how are we gonna deal with this you know and so ron just very cordially stepped in your uh, last studio album uh sounds like this mm -hmm. is about a year and a half two years old now uh, about a year yeah a year this may, may. So yeah. have you been in the studio? Are you working on any new new uh, material? There are some new songs brewing, yeah. yeah. We just played a new one last night, but actually it wasn't a new one. It was an old one from Zach's solo album. But it was a so. good ALO version, yeah. yeah. We just did that. My, uh, my, I have, my grandmother passed away. She's uh, 100 years old, and she gave me my first accordion. She got, taught me piano lessons. Like, amazing, amazing woman. And uh, 
And so we played a tribute song to her last night that was pretty awesome. I loved the way the band played it. It was so cool. I wanted to ask you about uh, the new Jack Johnson single. Um, yep. Are you officially the musical director for Jack's band? I am not the no. musical director, but <laughs> I am, uh, what am I? <laughs> You're the keyboard player I'm and the, the vocalist. I'm and like a, um, like I'm a, I'm a presence with him. <laughs> it's always a big deal when a new Jack Johnson album comes out. And uh, as Jimmy Buff was talking before we went on the air, they kind of hyped this new single by releasing it at midnight last night. Oh, interesting. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, you know what? I'm excited about the uh, the new single in particular. The song's really pretty, but uh, I played bass kalimba on it. So we kind of did thing. Actually, Merlo, the bass player, is playing the piano part, uh -huh. and I'm playing the bass part. But it's on one of those. Uh, it's like a big wooden box with these little metal tines, right. and you yeah. kind of pluck them. Nice. And so I thought it was. I was like, I just was thought it was fun to get to be the bass player for a mm -hmm. song, you know. And I was like, oh, that's the single. That's funny. So it's a full album from Jack Johnson, yeah. and will there be a tour to support the release? Um, I believe so. Nice. Like a the intimate theater tour in the fall. I loved his uh, live DVD, you know, Jack being a filmmaker. It's yeah. uh, just a gorgeous looking yeah, isn't DVD. That pretty? Yeah. And I'm wondering, when are we going to get a live DVD or album from ALO? <sighs> we, we've been talking about Good that for question. years. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, the uh, we have this hot tub club and it's like a subscription service that we offer through the band, but we, we tape most of our shows and so we end up get, you know, if you join the thing, you get a certain number of shows a year and things like that. And bonus tracks and things like that so I don't know you know it's like to actually it's really hard the, every version of the song is so different it's really hard for us to agree upon a definitive version yeah right also now. I would say though too it's interesting like just even in the last like I feel like the last year or six months the uh, the ease at which you can do a multi-camera shoot and multi-track it's like exponentially easier and easier sure so I could I could actually imagine our next round of touring yeah. getting a rig together and doing it because it's I mean you know, when we first started talking about this idea like four or five years ago, it was actually like a big production, like hiring film crews and all this kind of stuff. And now there's, you know, you still need, you need a crew to do it and you need gear, but it's just, you like everything, it's just easier. Well, and to give it some artistic direction. Yeah. yeah. We, we, got, we loved watching the feed. Uh, we were watching the whole festival like all this weekend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, we've been driving It, it was gigs. great. It was like, it was so fun actually. It like, felt like you were part of it. You know? What were some of the Mountain Jam highlights for you guys when you were watching? I liked the Lumineers when uh, they were like, you know, and I was like, oh, wait, they're going, they kept busking like out in other spots, you know, and yeah. well, we yeah. saw like a really cool drum solo last night. Uh, and yeah, what is your people in the rain, you know? Yeah, yeah, very cool. So, uh, yeah, we look forward to uh, that live album. I mean, you have so many uh, filmmaker friends, that I know. community of, uh, of people. So uh, we look forward to that. Maybe no. we'll do like a musical. Maybe it'll be something <laughs> like. Yeah, we keep joking around because our, 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 we're buddies with Tea Leaf Green, you know? Yeah. Uh, we used to live down the street from them and everything, but we were joking we could do like a uh, like a almost like a West Side Story yeah, or a Grease thing. Two rival two bands, rival gangs. and they come together and they do a tour and <laughs> yeah. it's like. So what's next for you guys? Are you headed back uh, to the West Coast after this or? Bonnaroo on Thursday. Oh yeah, cool. yeah. We're gonna be out there. We're doing a late night set out there. Uh, we start at one thirty on Thursday night, and uh, it's ALO and special guests, and we have a bunch of. Uh, undisclosed special guests that will be joining us. Nice. We uh, we have some of your show from today, and uh, we're going to go into a great version of Wasting Time, but before we do, can you give me a little background on the song? Well, the, the, it's the uh, Isla Vista song. Yes. I, uh, and is, is this one of Dave's? Yeah, uh, I wrote the first verse uh -huh. originally. And it's just about like a town that we went to college in and what we used to do. Uh -huh. Just a day in the life. A little yeah. day in the life kind of. We had a whole. Uh, we we played that at. Uh, we were in Boston. We played. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> um, I used to like you know it's a song sort of about you know just the things you do when you're young, uh, but recently <laughs> got it. It feels like it's a song about innocence. Yeah. You know, not to make it sound heavy or anything, but it feels like it's like when I listen to it now, I'm like ah, oh, it's just about kids having a good time. You know when time is on your side and you're not concerned about it and so I think that's why people come to festivals to yeah, kind of not a, it's about not being concerned about anything really. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's is, all there's an innocence in that we yeah. were um, uh, I feel like that's maybe the first uh, sort of song we wrote together too back it was like 96 or so I remember you were in the garage you came over and mm -hmm. our buddy Ari Gorman was sitting on the bass and we kind of stole the bass line because he came up with the bass line. He had it from some other band. Oh, really? Wow. I didn't see. I didn't even know that. Yeah, that bass line stolen for sure. <laughs>
Well, thanks for coming up and saying hello, guys, and uh, enjoy the rest of the day. Beautiful yeah. day out there. Awesome. Zach, Lebo, and Dave. We're going to go out with uh, a great version of Wasting Time recorded right. this afternoon yeah. here at Mountain Jam. It's awesome. Radio Woodstock 100.1. Like that, yeah. it, re it really was. Yeah, it was rough. Yeah. I mean, you know, uh, when we first sat down, we talked about the rain and playing in the rain and how do we feel about it. But it's really, I'm always amazed at the, at the fans out out in the crowd, the people that stay there all day long in the, yeah. in the rain. Um, and we'll be hopefully releasing it in the fall. Byron, what do you, how is uh, Amy to work with that? I mean, you guys have a long history together, but now you're the, the guy who says, you know, I think we should try this instead. How's that going? Usually it's Amy saying, no, I think we should try this instead. <laughs>